Okay, guys. Josh. Uh, Josh Abernathy, this is for you, buddy. Some of you others been wanting to know about the fuel tank. Uh, when you buy these fuel tanks, they come with these three-quarter inch flanges on them. All right? So when you buy these, what guys are saying is only has one draw tube, which is correct. So how do you get fuel from the second draw tube? Well, let me show you my little secret, what I did. Go to your local hard, uh, auto parts place. Get you a brake line. This is made out of aluminum. It's already got the little flange on the end of it. All you do is cut the end off. So this is how you do it. You stick it down in there and it stops right there because that flange. And then you put your three quarter. Now, then you say, well, how do I reduce down? Well, all you do is uh, you can get the reducers let me see right here on this line. I probably got it. Hold on just a sec, guys, and I'll show you. So this is what I did. I teed off. So I'm able to run the three machines. I'm running the eight gallon off of this one, run the two tens off of this one. So you can get, you can get your, uh, bigger hose on your filter and then reduce it down or you can get reducers that's the best way to do it so anyways for your gas tank to be able to use the second tube again go to your auto parts store get your aluminum brake line it's already got the little flared out end on it cut it off to your length drop it down your tank so then you're able to hook back in. Now this back one, what I did here, this is your relief valve. So I've got that, That all that does is let the pressure out of your tank so it don't build up. Hope this helps you guys. Go to auto parts store, get your aluminum brake line, cut it off your desired length, drop it in, hook it up, and you're ready to go. All right guys. Hope you got something out of this. Talk to y'all later.